Hey heroes, Isaac Zephyr here, and welcome back to Attack of the B-Team. <coughs> uh, sorry about the cough there. Anyway, we are back, and unfortunately, Tropicraft does not look like it's going to be fixed anytime soon. So, sadness, but it did lead to a couple of other things. Um, despite its derpness, uh, you can still get this, which is very useful for a trip to the Nether. I went and picked up some supplies that we were going to need uh, for the next little while, and I'm putting this away just in case I need it in the future, because I don't have enough iguana scales to make more. Um, but the be-all, end-all comes down to, we are going to focus this episode, might not be a very long episode, but we are going to focus on making an ideal bow. So I've grabbed up supplies for what I've kind of drafted as a not quite perfect, you know, because it's... It, it's going to be to each their own. You know, there might be things that I need or would like on there that, you know, the next person might not, which is perfectly okay. You know, everyone's going to have their own opinions on what they need or what they want out of a bow. But based on what I've researched and seen on the bows, the bow that I'm doing is going to be ideal for draw speed without sacrificing durability. Now in terms of arrows to go with it, I have a skeleton spawner actually now, if I open up my map. Uh, oh man, I thought I... Uh, bases, none. Ah. Oh. Well, I had a skeleton spawner. It's somewhere, just I apparently didn't mark properly on my map. Anyway, I have a skeleton spawner somewhere, which is where I would ideally be getting my arrows as a preference, just because I think it wastes a little too much material constantly going and get it or built making arrows using your smeltery. So what we're going to need, I grabbed some supplies from the nether, like I said, and I believe I put them in here. This is flame string, which is going to be our ideal string for this mod pack. Now, if you have thomcraft, you can actually use a different one, which, from what I understand, should be better. It's an enchanted string. gives you an extra uh, modification you can add. Uh, I don't have any nether stars right now to add an additional one, so we're going to do that. We're going to put that there. We're going to need some moss. And we are going to need diamond moss, some redstone. Uh, so I'm going to grab all the supplies we're going to need here. That should be everything. So, to make a bow, we need the basics. Uh, we're going to be making the base material out of paper, and I don't think I have enough paper for it, but we're going to see if we can. We need two normal tool rods, which are tough rod, tool rod there. Uh, Paper tool rod, two extra sheets of paper. Paper tool rod, two extra sheets of paper. So there we go. That should be the appropriate bit there. And for the bowstring, we're using the flame string to make a fiery bowstring. This will automatically give our bow the flame enchantment without having to do anything else. Let's see, am I missing anything for a bow? No. So, we are going to have our paper bow. It's got writable, so we can add an additional enchantment to it. It's reinforced one and has a draw speed of under a second. At least I believe so. That's how it's been done so far. Now in terms of additional enchantment on it, we are going to be adding moss so that it heals itself because it has very low durability. Followed by that we're going to add a diamond to actually reinforce it, give it 500 more durability so that it actually has some durability to begin with. Then we are going to pile redstone on this sucker. One, two, three, four, five. And because of the writable, we can actually add additional haste. So we've currently got an incredible draw speed right now. We could even add another diamond. But writable, four, five. Oh. Guess we can add even more haste. Two, three, four, five. There we go. So we finally maxed that out. We don't need an additional enchantment. So we have three levels of haste, which has our total draw speed down to, what was it again? Less than half a second. We've got decent durability on it, which is good. Now let's test fire an arrow. Let's see, I think I have them in the combat chest. I don't have many right now, because like I said, that's just the draw speed on the sucker. There we go. We have what I'm going to label as probably the best draw, 
string you can manage. You can put more uh, redstone on it, obviously, instead of the diamond, or you could add more redstone using the additional enchantment. But with a draw speed of less than half a second, we can fire arrows out of this sucker like nobody's business. Now, like I said, I prefer just using regular arrows, but you can use Tinkerer's Construct arrows as well. At the moment, this bow does no more damage than an average bow. It's got plus zero attack damage because from what I've found, you can't really add attack damage to the bow. Uh, you have to add attack damage to the arrows, otherwise you're basically just making a stick to punch people with. Which would mean you'd want to use the arrowhead, which is here somewhere. There it is. Arrowhead, fletching, and obviously tool rods again. And like I said, for arrows, I can't really... I haven't optimized how one should do an arrow, but this is the bow that I would recommend. Um, now, one of the additional things is, again, I used Flame String, which is from this mod pack. For that, you need to kill these suckers, these Heat Scar Spiders. They're also a very useful or um, morph to have when you're in the nether as well. Most of the nether mobs are immune to fire, which means that you take no damage while you're in there. Um, let's see if we can test this baby out on some stuff. Let's morph ourselves into our favorite bat. Oh yeah, there's also a wasp I've grabbed in the nether, so I have another flying guy if I really wanted. Um, I spent some time in Tropicraft obviously looking for iguanas. There's a lot of glitches there. Ow. Buzzed out in something. Alright, so let's go find ourselves something to shoot. Test this sucker out. I want to look for my skeleton spawner, so let's actually fly into the mountainside, where I've been doing the majority of my digging. Or we could just peg off sheep, one or the other. With how fast we can fire our arrows, I don't think we need to worry too much about actually having strong arrows. And with the additional durability provided by the diamond, we're not going to have to worry about this thing dying in the middle of a boss fight or anything. So we've got another hat. Kind of like that hat, actually. So, yeah. oh. that little glitch there was just the moss healing our bow. But there we are, between our fast bow and our slow sword, I'm a preference to the cleaver, and we're going to be making a minel and one of this afterwards. Uh, currently I'm actually just running moss and luck on it for the looting three. Uh, haste and silky for the pick, and luck auto moss on everything basically, because auto repairing tools are fun. Doesn't seem to work very well with the hammer though for some reason. I think I already have the solar panel hat, but... Yeah, it will glitch out every now and again when the moss does heal it. But between this bow, I think it's about as good as it gets. Though it should have flaming, strangely enough. I'm surprised it doesn't. Why is it not lighting things on fire? It doesn't work properly. Hey. So we got plenty of room to go. Alright, let's try this out against some mobs. We're gonna stay in bat form. Maybe light this up. Got nothing I really want to look for down here. I'm still going without armor, just because I haven't found any good armor in this mod other than the scale, and that was only for nether run. Oh yeah, I'm a wasp, not a bat. Hmm. Let's actually change to being the bat, just because it's smaller, can fit through one wide spaces. So yeah, no, we can get a good decent shot in on a zombie while he's approaching us, which means that we can draw this thing almost as fast as, granted, again, I'm using a melee weapon with slowness, we can fire a full powered arrow in pretty much the exact same time it takes us to swing our sword. That, to me, is pretty damn awesome. Uh, let's just make some more torches. Might as well do a little bit of mining. Um, is there anything else I want to talk about today, actually, other than Uberbow, which, again, 
Should have flame, but doesn't appear to be working properly. Maybe it's because I added so much haste it changed the, uh, the bow construct bit. I did see some diamond back here. There we go. Counts as a mining trip now. I grab some redstone as well because I'm running low. I'm actually going to... I think the next thing we need to start working on in the Attack of the B-Team world, I've been focusing on doing this a lot the same way I did Hexit, which was very magic. Which isn't a bad thing necessarily, but I've got all this thermal ore and stuff like that that I could probably be using and taking advantage of. Uh, contemplated silk touch hammer as well, by the way. But I figured I wanted fortune on the hammer. Because I can put all this back home and then fortune it. Another thing I would recommend the diamond enchantment on, or the in terms of Tim Curse construct, is if you're going to be using a shovel a lot. Now this shovel I've got here is just doing me perfectly fine. Um, again, I want a better shovel eventually, but in the original Tinkerer's Construct, you saw that I had the diamond silk touch shovel just for the durability because I was just punching through sand. Like, as fast as I could swing, the sand was gone. Because <laughs> you were doing haste, and with that you can easily burn through a shovel. With the excavator I haven't had to worry so much because generally I get what I want for less swings overall. But in the end, still a good investment. I mean, it's a single diamond, it's the same amount you'd use to make a diamond shovel anyway, and gives it basically the durability. I've been collecting the oreberry bushes as well. Hey, water sound that I haven't heard since the other world. Whoop. Yeah, no, between maps and being able to fly, caving is really easy. So I haven't really worried about doing it unless I really needed materials, but it gives me an opportunity to talk. And we're going to need this redstone because the next bit to do in this mod pack is to focus on the mechanical aspects, which are going to be machines and whatnot. We have tools, now we need machines. And I uh, am definitely in the wrong place to find our skeleton spawner. Not a huge issue though. Almost well, sounds like there's zombies through the wall there. So with machines is also going to come space to put them. Our forge and whatnot can remain in that outdoor area, in that little alcove. Because, you know, it's, it's not hurting anybody, it's not taking up much space. But with larger machines, we are going to need housing, we're going to need roofs. And it's going to mean decoration and whatnot. So, we're kind of exiting the archaic phase and moving into the... I guess the industrial age of our B-team exploration. And that's going to mean I'm going to need to do some research. I'm going to need to be doing a lot to figure out what I need, how I'm going to need it, and how I'm going to use it. And I know redstone is going to be kind of the key component in a lot of stuff, as well as kind of the more abstract metals that are here. I've noticed, uh, oh, what was it? That one that we used previously for the solar panels. And I would love to have solar energy because it would save me a lot of effort, but I don't want to wind up with that same crash that I had when I tried volts. So in terms of a power source, we're going to figure that out. we got to figure out a lot, really. I'm going to punch through this wall. So I'm interested to see where these zombies are coming from. There he is. Luggage. Clean up this mess. Shouldn't have brought all this stuff with me. Oh, um, I found this white stone, by the way. A very interesting item. Uh, I can't hold this stuff. Do, 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 do. I need that out. Uh, it will save my life. Very... I guess interesting is the best word. Uh, I might need that, actually. 
And get away from that wall. I don't want you glitching out like the other like five luggages I've lost at this point. Wow. Skeletons. No arrows, so I can't really outshoot them right now. Luggage, if I go this way enough, you'll have to eventually follow me. Awesome. There we go. Didn't lose them. Yeah, no, I've lost a couple of luggages to wall glitches, and then I lose everything in them, so I, I think all in all I've probably lost about a stack of diamonds. Minimum. Multiple stacks of redstone, which is why I need this trip. As you saw, my entire redstone is a couple of... I think like a half a stack and a couple of bricks just from making tools. Granted, probably doesn't help, I just punched 150 redstone into this thing. Whoa. Come on. What the hell was that? Oh, that was that saving me. <laughs> wow. Regeneration 3. But yeah, no, I guess when you get close to dying or when you do die, that saves your life. Does a very good job of it, too. Unfortunately, I don't have one. So now I have to be careful. Always figures when I film stuff like this happens. Now the extent from what I understand of Galacticraft, which is another mod in here, we have space travel as an option, which means, to my understanding, another dimension, another world to explore. Let's avoid the sludge. So, we got a lot still to do, despite the fact that, you know, I'm almost borderlining on best tools I can get. Like I said, expansion from the Archaic Ages to a more industrial time. And hopefully it goes well. Let's see if I can grab this Quantum Ore in this form. I can't find much use for this stuff, but I'm interested in it. bushes. So from this point out, from this episode out, it's gonna be mechanics, maybe a little bit more exploring if I need to, but for the most part I've explored. I didn't show you guys any of the nether, but we've explored the majority of what's important. The nether is basically exactly the same as Hexit. There's some hives, which I'm interested to see what use they will provide me, other than throwing wasps at me. But I can't imagine I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. So far the necromancy mod hasn't really brought anything to the table that's interesting, and for the majority that's just kind of what's in the nether. Yeah, you got blood fountains and all that fun stuff. Granted, made it easy to make an obsidian portal to get back out of the nether again. I actually ended up lost. Alright, and I'm running low on food. So, I think that explanation is enough. We've made our ultimate bow, tested it out a little bit. Gotta make sure I land, because I can't touch the... Oh! Whoa! He has a hat. I think I already have that hat, though, but... Yeah, I already had it. It's the principle of the matter. So I'm gonna cut this here. I'm probably gonna finish mining. And probably work out a basic house before next episode. Like, just something basic where we can get a couple more chests down. Yeah, things like that. I haven't found much use for diamond, other than, you know, the standards, but grab that too. 
It's just for the principle of the matter. I also love the huge diamond veins. It makes it so easy. So anyway, until next time, this will be Isaac Zephyr signing out. And I will see you all later, heroes.